Um, and I think, first of all, I personally regard teaching as an offensive form of interaction, which may sound outrageous, but imagine you're at kind of some kind of dinner party or a cocktail party, whatever, and somebody comes up, you know, Matt, I think you need to understand U.S. history. This is what happened, you know, like, F you, you ass. You know, <laughs> I'm trying not to be, but, you know, anybody who does that, they are horrible. Instead, if suppose somebody walks up to you and, hey, Matt, what do you think about this? What's going about this? So mm. I think the very first orientation we need to get away from is this top-down the whole model of teaching, you know, if somebody asks me, a child or an adult asks me to explain something, I'm happy to explain it, eager, enthusiastic, passionate about explaining, but there's a consent. They want me to tell them something. But if I had to, if they didn't ask me to explain something, I regard it as pretty offensive to have somebody just start telling me what I should be doing. Oh, and I think wow. kids in our society are even much bigger on that. So, you know, I have a, I have a video series on YouTube called Loving Your Child's Mind. Uh, there's a young woman named Alana. I began when she was four. She's currently eight. There's now there's another young, young man named Sankara who's also on these shows. But I, because I love talking to kids, yeah, Alana, what do you think? What's a puzzle? What's a game? What's an animal? How do clouds work? How do things fly? Mm. I want to know what she thinks. And the reason I call it loving her mind, you know, a lot of people celebrate, you know, the, the looks of a child or the athleticism of a child or whatever. I, and, you know, even praising a child for right answers, I think is the wrong approach. Yeah. I want them to know that I'm interested in what's going on inside their head. And by means of doing that, one metaphor I have is that, um, a lot of people have done this, that nurturing a child is like a garden. You know, mm -hmm. what you water and you know, so forth grows. If it gets sunlight and water, it grows and becomes beautiful. And so if you're always nurturing your child's mind by asking them what they think and sharing things and sharing your excitement, ideally, you know, the other thing is children are sponges. So um, there's an old thing, I can't hear what you're saying because who you are is getting in the way. Mm. So as much as possible, you know, if you need to be angry, depressed, frustrated, try to do it when the kids are in bed in front of the kids, I think try to be curious, engaged, active, hopeful, because whatever behaviors you're exhibiting, your child is going to replicate. Um, and so as much as possible, yeah, be your best self, enjoy life. Again, if you want your child, think about how you're, what you want your child to be as an adult. Do you want to be your child to convey kind of depression, anxiety, you know, stress? Uh, well, that's what you're doing. But do you want your child to, to, you know, be joyful and optimistic and, you know, that try to be that way around your child. Yeah.